In this video, I want to take you through the process of how I set up a very simple platform and put up my Lotus Bell tent completely by myself. It's really not a hard process, but I want to show you how I did it. It starts with this very crude platform. I had to bring in all of this lumber to this remote location with my ATV, and I was building in the middle of winter, so it made things a little more difficult. Using my level and some shims and a little bit of shovel work, I was able to get this thing pretty much level. <laughs> Luckily, by the time I needed to get the tent in, it had snowed enough I could bring it in with a sled. I had temporarily covered my platform with this large tarp to try to keep the wood dry until I could get an opportunity to put the tent up. So this is just treated uh, four by eight sheets of plywood on four by four posts, three underneath each piece of plywood. And they're just kind of laid down on the ground and semi-leveled. It is what it is. And now we'll try to get this tent up. So the bottom of this tent is a very heavy PVC vinyl bottom. So I gotta lay that out first. And then as you can see, I laid out these, you know, not in a traditional way where you have them scattered. This is not how you would wanna build a platform. It's just how I put it together. So in the middle here, I'm gonna drop this piece of plywood. So that, that'll be kind of like where the main pole goes and I'll have a little extra stability over these, where these meet together. This is a 16 foot Lotus Bell tent. This is something different I've never had before. So we'll see how this goes. Because it was cold in winter, the vinyl was a little more stiff than you're probably going to come across if you set it up at any other time of the year, but it worked out. My instructions. It's nice laminated. Got these two. Because I can't do it into the ground because I'm on this platform, so. that down. So now I got the bathtub bottom on. So all of these are secured these loops. Here we go. The next thing to do is assemble all of the poles to get them ready to put in the side walls. I opened up the tent and spread it around the 16 foot diameter circle. Now, what I should have done is laid it out inside out because that's where the poles needed to go, which you'll see me figure out here in a second. I ended up flipping this whole thing back inside out to put all the poles in and you kind of just slide the poles into place using a little bit of pressure. They kind of like bow out. And then here I am flipping the whole thing back right side out after I have the poles in. Once that's done, it's time to secure it to the hook I already had in place for the bathtub floor. I think that's how I do it. Each rib of the sidewall has two sets of ropes that need to be tied into place before you can set up your tent. Now you measure out one pole distance for each stake and set them in place. So as you're going along, you open up the tent and hook them over those stakes that are approximately at the right distance. Now, once you get this thing all set up, that's when you really secure it in place and make sure it's all tight. But right now, at this point, you just kind of want it loose before you get the top on. Take my boots off. So, I need to catch these. 
floor attaches to a loop in the wall, and then the wall yeah. and the floor also have a Velcro line that come together. This is my first attempt at trying to get the roof on with an additional rain fly, which I'll talk about in a minute. It did not go very well. It was way too heavy for me. Plus the added rain fly made it very awkward. Oh my goodness. So frustrating. All right, what you're looking at here is my Lotus Bell tent, which is canvas. And then I got this extra covering from a different company that also had like a stargazer type of tent. And this is more of like a poly vinyl mixture. I just want to give this thing more protection out here. I'm under a lot of pine trees and I just want to keep my canvas white and I just want to protect this. It's already like starting to get dirt and stuff. So I'm fitting something that doesn't go with this lotus bell over top. I'm gonna see how it does. The tent is uh, a lot heavier with this extra top on. So let's hope I can do it. Using a ladder and a throw rope, I eventually got the rain fly somewhat over the top. Now I also decided to start the pole one section short just to get it upright and then adjust it so I could have more leverage when I finally put the full pole in place. And it worked. I've got this extra layer of protection for my canvas. Also gives more insulation. Put carpet in and the wood stove jack. This is where I was able to really secure the tent tightly. And I also used longer stakes than what they provided. I buy the same kind of carpet for all my tents. It's this indoor outdoor carpet. It's just really light. It's really cheap. And it just makes the inside of your tent so much cozier. I've found over the years that putting carpet in is way easier to do. Just laying it out in place and cutting it to shape. To get around the pole, I just usually cut one big line and fit it around the pole instead of trying to lift the pole up and putting the carpet underneath. All right, take a look at this. I love it. You come in and you just have this, oh, the stargazer top. And I love these clear vinyl windows so that when it's like nasty weather, you don't have to feel so closed in, which is what I don't like about tents. Ah, oh, that's so nice. And then this is another door. You could have that open. But that is just amazing. This here deploys for like if it's really sunny and you just want to shade it off, it attaches around the rim here and it opens up and closes off all that light. So that is fantastic. So I got my wood stove in here. I need to install a stove jack right here. So I have to do that myself, but I have the kit and no big deal. This is the stove jack I'm going to install right here on the outside. Once I figure out exactly where I want everything. I think I want it right there, right when you enter the tent. So it's kind of like keeping the wood mess by the door. Oh, I'm so excited. I love it. It is awesome. It was definitely not easy to do by myself, but I made it work. I figured it out. And when you have such a hard challenge, it may seem kind of trivial, but getting that up myself, getting the platform built, hauling everything here, it takes effort. You got to be just in a different kind of mindset to tackle just things that you think you can't do alone. So yeah, totally worth it. After determining where I wanted my stove, it was time to cut the hole. So this is what it looks like now. I get the stove jack installed, which is this right here. It gets installed on the outside. And what I'm doing is using this, this glue right here. It's what's gonna hold it together. I cut my stove jack to the size of my pipe and then applied the glue and pressed it in place. Now this glue is amazing. It will definitely do the job. I've been so impressed with it so far. 
I'll put the link to all of these things in my Amazon store below. There's something under there. <laughs> you getting it? <laughs> good day to be a dog in the dirt. That's right. Any good tent needs a really good fire pit. So with my ATV, I loaded up my trailer and brought in some rocks. In no time flat, I had a nice fire pit. That looks good. You have a fire right outside your door. Got all this to burn from clearing this space, so it'll be good. Nice. It's like the sixth fire pit on this property. I was able to put this tent up myself. I did struggle with a few things, just being in that it was a new tent. I was trying to do this in the middle of winter. To the ceiling here is 10 and a half feet. So lifting all the material up straight, having it all line up, took a bit of effort, but I definitely think one person could do it, especially without the extra rain fly. Better with two or three people, but one person can do it because I did it myself. I hope you found this video helpful and maybe even inspired to try something new yourself. I also have a review video of this tent. I'll put the link below. This is Girl in the Woods. I'll see you in the next video. She gone. Oh, don't forget to get outside and get happy.